Good afternoon. This is Rich Ness, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media, and I'm here for this week's installment of Five Minutes With. This week, I will be speaking with Najip Sayanair, and he is the President, CEO, and Director at Interstill. Good afternoon, Najip. How are you? Good afternoon. I am well, and you? I am doing just fine, thank you. Now, you and I go back up fairways um, when you were with Silicon Labs. You were actually the President and CEO of Silicon Labs for a pretty long time, um, seven or eight years. Um, what did you learn there that you took with you to Interstill that you're implementing now? Well, I'll start with uh, something I've uh, learned a long time ago, but confirmed at Silicon Labs and is very applicable uh, to the turnaround at Intercell today, and it is that there is uh, really no substitute for strong engineering talent. Um, to win against larger competitors and uh, do that consistently, you have to have better performing technology, which, which requires a strong uh, innovation engine. Another lesson I learned at Silicon Labs is that um, both patience and impatience uh, can be virtues depending on the context. Um, it takes patience to be successful in long life cycle markets like industrial, infrastructure, automotive. It may take many, many years to see a return on what can be a significant investment. But by consistently investing in a strong roadmap for these markets and being persistent in pursuing design wins, you can build a very healthy and sustainable uh, growing business. Okay. On the other hand, um, as a CEO, uh, you have to be impatient as you drive change. Um, both at Silicon Labs and Intercell, we had to change the way the business was run and investments were managed and uh, while it took uh, more than a couple of years in Silicon Labs um, to implement those changes, um, it took us only uh, uh, six or nine months to make the same changes in Intercell uh, because time was uh, of the essence. Okay. Now, you mentioned a turnaround at Intercell. By what benchmark do you say that there was a turnaround at Intercell? The turnaround uh, had uh, many milestones. Um, we have uh, met some of the financial milestones as we improved the profitability of the uh, business. Uh, we have made significant improvements uh, in engineering execution on uh, new product developments and the rate at which we bring uh, those products to, to market. And we are really at the verge of uh, demonstrating some uh, organic growth in our uh, revenues. Okay, fair enough. Good. Now, if I look at your resume uh, going way back in time, most of your formal education is on the engineering side, but obviously now you're a business guy. Um, would you have done things differently from an education standpoint, knowing where you ended up? Um, I always felt uh, a strong engineering background uh, made me a, a better a semiconductor executive. Um, I feel that in our business, engineering execution is a critical element of success, and having started my career as a member of technical staff and having managed uh, very many uh, complex projects, um, I understand what it takes to execute on challenging development projects with a narrow customer window. I, I did have to learn uh, the ins and outs of running a business as I took on more management responsibility, but uh, this was a natural evolution. Not sure I would do anything dramatically differently. Um, each experience uh, has helped me build on what I know. I was fortunate to be part of the Bell Labs culture when it was the heart of innovation. Um, I was uh, able to earn my management stripes at Agir, helping build and grow successful businesses. And my first CEO role at Silicon Labs was a great opportunity to take strong engineering culture and create a diversified, lasting company. Um, these are all experiences that have prepared me for the opportunity at Intercell. I think that's great, and I very much agree with you. Anybody can run a company, but to be an engineer, that's really difficult, right? Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> to be able to marry... Uh, engineering and technical understanding with uh, uh, business acumen, I think, is what 
uh, makes a successful CEO. I agree. Okay, so now we're almost out of time, but uh, there's one question that I like to ask people. What's the most important thing that they did not teach you in college that um, you would like to impart on somebody who's still in college, say, hey, this is something you really should know? Well, there are a few things. Um, until you start working in the industry, you don't really appreciate the importance of teamwork and execution and making a product or, or, or business successful. Um, furthermore, for engineers, I think a valuable skill to develop is um, system-level understanding of the end application. And uh, We often send engineers out to meet with customers so they can better understand the context of where their device will be designed in and can help in product definition as a result. To, the ability to see outside of the box um, I think makes uh, engineers much more valuable uh, to the organization. And finally, uh, uh, one uh, thing that perhaps can't really be taught but is an attribute I highly value is, is good judgment. Um, in any capacity, uh, applying good judgment through the assessment of complex situations, analyzing risk, and making timely decisions, I think is extremely valuable. Very good. I think that's great advice, and we've used up our five minutes. So that was Najib Sayanair. He is the President, CEO, and Director at Intersil. Thank you, Najib. Thank you for the opportunity.